Todd, welcome back to, to Scotland and welcome back for another season. How's your, how's your summer been? Yeah, it was, it was good. It was good to get away and, and good to catch up with uh, a lot of family and friends. But it was a working summer, a working holiday and a very busy one. Um, right up to the point of training camp here in a week or two. So um, busy, busy, but good to be back and, uh, and, and getting things organized. You know, it has been a long, arduous summer, um, but I think by taking our time, and, uh, and and really going after a good quality of player, um, we've we've put together a, a very what I feel is a very competitive and and uh, hardworking squad. Uh, I, and I think you'll see that we wanted to build on the um, the existing guys that we brought back, and um, we really wanted to tap into to that work ethic of like a Ryan Dingle. Um, people really respond to that well. And uh, I think we have a number of players that are going to complement it. First come to mind is like uh, a Schaefer and a Brooks. Those guys play a very similar style to him. Um, Will be fast. Looks to be pretty offensively talented. And you know what? We look like we got three good balanced lines. um, As as well as a back end that's taken shape nicely. And a goaltender that's not only going to be popular with his teammates but a, a very good um, a very good goalie for that. Well, Sebastian's a player that has comp- consistently put up um, numbers over the, the course of his career. We're something, uh, that's something that we hope uh, continues here in a Fife jersey. Um, consistent offense has been an issue with us in the past and we've had to tweak the lineup partway through seasons to, to really find that mix that works. We've brought in a number of guys that are quite capable of putting up numbers. Um, now's the now's the the job of putting that all together, um, making the right combinations, and having that. You know, it's it's always obviously not always about offense, but it certainly helps when your team is scoring uh, three or four goals a game. That's something that we accomplished last year when we brought Nico in. He really bounced, balanced out the lines and was an exceptional player for us. And that's something that we're looking to tap into right off the bat this season. And I didn't touch on it, but all the guys that we've brought in um, are exceptional people off the ice. Um, they're leaders, uh, motivators, um, want to work close with the community and um, ultimately want to win. So we're looking to tap into a lot of that experience and, um, you know, both on and off the ice. And we'd like to get off to a great start here. Some big point scorers uh, amongst the people that you've brought in, both in terms of the people that you're, you're bringing back from last season and, uh, and, and, the, and, and the new guys that are coming in as well. Well, absolutely. And I think it's... Um, you see with the way the league's going, it, we're all very well of, uh, aware of some of the signings that have been around the league every year. Um, it just seems to take that jump to the next level. It's very important that we have three balanced lines uh, that are capable of playing against uh, anybody in the league. Um, I think we've certainly taken steps towards that. We're, we're going to get these guys in, have a couple weeks to have a really good look at them and um, get all the pieces put together the way that we want and you know we're really looking to get off to a great start but I mean it's no secret that every team in the league looks to have improved and um, there are some good hockey clubs out there so we're gonna have to be at our best most nights but everybody coming into uh, our situation here in Fife are well aware of our goals and our aspirations and um, they're all very keen to be a part of it. I've spoken uh, a great deal to Rick um, and you know I know exactly what we're getting. Um, Rick has a wealth of experience. Um, he's another very offensively gifted uh, defenseman. Um, one that I, I think you're right. I think probably we haven't, uh, we didn't see the best of him against us last year at times. Um, but, you know, he, he knows what's expected of him coming in. Um, and, and also, um, you know, his, his experiences in the game and, and the places he's been, I feel um, will definitely aid 
a lot of our players and that natural leadership um, will, will really show through. So we're looking forward to getting Rick in. I think that's uh, uh, you know a big marquee signing for us, and um, we're hoping for big things from him. You can't really put a, a price on on someone that's played at the top level. And not just kind of sort of warmed the bench at the top level, but someone that's actually been there and has lifted the, the Stanley Cup in his career as well. Yeah, well, I mean, I think that's, you know, ultimately, um, hockey fans in general love to see somebody who's been at that level and, and has accomplished that. I mean, that's, that's a big thing for us. Um, but I think the important thing is, is that he still has that hunger to win. Uh, he feels that he has a, a lot to offer. And, and once again, I think, you know, for, for myself personally, I think, um, you know, I, I've enjoyed our talks and I'll enjoy working with him here throughout the season. I think he'll be, um, you know, a favorite to our fans and, um, you know, having him back there with uh, our current defensive squad, um, you, you know, is a good move and we're looking forward to it. Um, and you mentioned the sort of aspirations for the coming season. So now that we're we're a couple of weeks away from uh, from the first of the preseason games, what what do you see as being the main goals for the Flyers this season? Well, obviously, I, I may be repeating a few things from last season. Um, I'll, I'll just back up for one second because in the five years that we've been in the Elite League, we've improved um, our league position every season. Um, and I think it's impo- important to um, continue on with that. Um, last season we tied with Brayhead for top of conference and lost out in the subsequent tiebreaker. It was a very tough pill to swallow, but um, ultimately um, they were better in the tiebreak positions and, and they deserved that win. So um, the uh, conference certainly has to be a key for us. I mean, that would be the natural next step in our progression towards success in this league is having our eye on that conference. Um, And you you just see the teams that Brayhead are putting together, Edinburgh, Dundee, and Manchester. No longer is this a division where teams get nights off and so-called easy points. Uh, That's five good competitive ice hockey clubs. And it'll be difficult to get points every night, but that's going to have to be one of our goals. We've stumbled uh, in the Challenge Cup every year at the quarterfinals. I think it's key that we have had some experience now in that. I think it's not good enough just to make it to the next round. We want to progress further in those rounds where anything can happen. And the last two of the last three years, we've made uh, the playoff final weekend, which is a great experience for the fans. Um, and and the players certainly get up for it. It's an accolade that um, you know it's the last trophy of the season, and and it's an exciting atmosphere. But we stumbled at the semifinals two years. We need to get past that semifinal, a, get there first, get past that semifinal, and at least get ourselves into a final position where anything can happen. So obviously, I guess the goals have to be um, to be competitive every night. Um, and, and get, get points out of every weekend. But, but also, um, we're really keen to bring uh, success to Fife. You can see by um, some of the quality signings that we've put together that that's our aim. And um, now it's just putting it together and, uh, and, and see what happens this year.